guys, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a super exciting haul. This is for Bath & Body Works and it's somewhat of a fall haul. There's a few candles in there, but there's also a new scent that I've fallen in love with and I picked up a ton of stuff in. So if you want to see everything that I picked up, then just keep watching. So this haul is kind of a three-part haul. I went in store two times and I ordered a package online. Um, so that is kind of the mix of everything. But the first time I went in store, the main thing I was looking for was some candles. And a lot of the white barn candles were on sale for 15 And especially as it tied, these little marble ones were on sale for 15 I've already gone through, I usually do sets of two candles in my house, and I've already gone through the bergamot waters that was in this kind of marble container. This is Spice Vanilla Marshmallow. So I went ahead and bought two. I like to keep one in my kitchen kind of dining room area and one in my living room just to kind of make the whole house smell the same. I don't like mixing scents. Um, but this one is going to be my winter candle. It smells kind of vanilla spicy, but I'm not a big spiced candle lover. But if you sometimes kind of like the spice scents, then you'll like this. It's a nice mix of sweet and spicy so that it's not too overwhelming. Um, so yeah, really like this. I love the packaging on this. I actually have already um, emptied out and taken all the wax out of my Bergamot Waters one, and I'm using that to hold my brushes now. And I think these are really pretty containers compared to the normal ones. Other candles I picked up are the White Barn Pumpkin Spice, and I normally don't like anything pumpkin. Last year I got the Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, and I think maybe Pumpkin Cupcake, but I didn't really love Pumpkin Cupcake after I burned it. Um, but this scent is so good, and I was really shocked. I just kind of happened to pick it up and smell it, and it's just kind of like a sweet, spicy scent. I don't know how to explain it. It just has a lot of layers to it. It's not just straight up pumpkin and cinnamon. Like it has a really nice scent to it. Even my husband really likes it. So of course I picked up two of these for the same reason. This is what I'm actually burning in my house nail. Um, you can see I've put a little bit of a dent in both of them. And I just think it's a really nice fall scent. If you're not a big fan of pumpkin or spicy scents, surprisingly pumpkin spice is actually a pretty good one. So smell them in stores before you buy it. But I was shocked that I actually liked this. So it has been my favorite and I'll probably buy it in future seasons to come because I just really like it. Another product that I always keep from Bath & Body Works is their car little scent pods. These are called scent portables and you have, um, I used to have the visor and I just on this past trip picked up the little vent clip because to me it feels like if the air is blowing through it, it's going to make the scent kind of go through your car a little better. Um, but this I already have just like the one I was already using. I just switched over um, and this is a fall one from last year that's not available anymore. It's the pumpkin pecan waffles um, scent portable and it smells really good, but I don't love this kind of scent for my car. It's very strong, which is nice, but I picked up my favorite one for my car, which is Mahogany Teakwood. My other favorite is Sweater Weather, which I don't know. I didn't see it in stores. Um, they may have it online, so I'll link it down below if they have it, but these just kind of smell more like mint cologne, and it just smells like a car to me. It's like a good car scent, um, even if it's not. Like, I like Mahogany Teakwood for my house sometimes, but especially for my car, I just really like this scent, and like I said, it just smells kind of cologne-y. Um, I know a lot of people like this one, so you've probably heard of it before, and a lot of people, like I said, do like it, so you may even own it, but I really like it in the car scent portable type thing. And then I tried out, or I decided to try out Frosted Cranberry. And this one, um, I figured I'll use more around winter once this one is run out, and it's it's hard to smell. I smelled the candle when we were there and it was just kind of like a light fruity scent. It wasn't too overwhelming so I think it'll be nice. I'm really not picky about my car scent as much as I am about the candles or body products just because I don't feel like um, it's just something different. Your car, it's just nice for it to smell like anything so I'm not nearly as picky but um, yeah I decided to try this one out. The other couple things that I picked up, this is the one that I'm really excited about. This is the new scent that I've discovered and it is Sleep Lavender Vanilla. This is the body lotion and I love the packaging that it's this nice metal and I really like the blue bottle. Um, I'm not a lotion person at all. I usually don't like the sticky feeling and I don't really like to keep lotion on but I've been using this morning and night since I got it. I love the scent. It's lavender vanilla but I'm usually not a big lavender person but this one has such a kind of like gentle scent to it. It smells more like something like at a spa. Um, it's not overwhelming and it doesn't sound, um, smell synthetic at all. So I really like this and I actually picked up a couple more items from this range in my other little shopping trip so I'll talk about that in a little bit. At the time that I was shopping they were having a promotion where you could get a free item for up to $14 I believe. So it was if you spent $10 you could get up to a $14 item for free which is a really nice deal. And I ended up picking up the Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. And this is just a 
Um, shower gel, I used to use these like nobody's business. This is pretty much the only type of shower gel that I would use when I was in high school. I've never tried this scent. I don't know if it's new for this year or not, but I do really like it. It's nice and fall, a little on the sweet side. It's not terribly strong. It really doesn't linger on my body much at all, so it's just kind of nice for a while I'm in the bathtub or the shower. Um, so this is something I picked up just because it was a free item, but I am enjoying it. For the second in-store trip, I wasn't planning on going. I just happened to be at the mall that day, and I, like I said, wasn't planning. I was only there for about maybe like 30 minutes, and I decided to walk to Bath & Body Works and see if they had the shower gel, because this is actually what I was looking for when I found the lotion. I was just wanting something in the scent, and I really use shower gels and body wash much more than I use lotion, like I mentioned, but I have really liked this lotion. So I was looking for this and they did not have it online, they did not have it in the first store I went and they did not have it in the other store I went, except for they had a little duo of this. And I was already wanting another one because I wanted one for my bedside and I wanted one for in my bathroom for like right out after I get out of the shower or the tub. So I was super excited to find this. Instead of being like $16 each, it was only $20 for both and I got one of the last ones there was. So I was super excited about this purchase and I also got a little... Um, I got a little bitty one for my purse of the lotion. I'm telling y'all, I'm obsessed with this lotion. It's very funny for me because I'm not a lotion person. And then I just got it for my free item. I got um, a bottle like this of the Noir, but I got it for my husband, so I'm not going to show it in this haul. But it's just the um, type of cologne he likes to use, so I got him a body wash to match. For the online purchases, I actually made this purchase online before I went to the store the second time. That's why I was looking for the body wash because I did not have it online at all. So I actually ended up picking up a bubble bath instead. So this is the Sleep Lavender Vanilla Bubble Bath. And I've tried the Bath & Body Works bubble bath from the Aromatherapy line. I believe in the Eucalyptus scent. My husband picked that up for me um, several years ago, I guess two or three years ago. So I haven't used it in a while, but I do remember really liking it. And I actually haven't tried it since I have a jet tub. So bubbles work, just bubble bath in general works much better um, when you have running water like that going through. So I'm excited to try this out and see how I like it. And I'm again excited about the scent because it is a absolute favorite. So the final sleep product that I got is the Lavender Vanilla Bath and Massage Oil. And there are multiple sleeps, so just so you don't get confused, there is a chamomile and lavender one, and there's a vanilla and lavender one. So just make sure you get the one with the blue instead of the yellow label if you're wanting the same scent as me. Um, but this is a, just a general massage oil. I think it's supposed to be good for putting in your bath, putting on your dry skin, um, using it to shave your legs, anything like that. And it just has a really strong scent, so I'm excited about this. I just really enjoy baths, so I am going to probably take a bath with both of these tonight. Um, my package just arrived a few minutes ago, so I'm really excited to try out both of these products. And my final product that I got for this huge haul is another free item because I was able to use the same coupon online, and this is the Fragrance Mist in Twilight Woods. And this is a super kind of sentimental, nostalgic kind of scent for me. I used to keep the body wash and the body spray stocked up in my cabinets when I was in junior high and high school. It was my favorite scent. Even when I first got married, like my husband and I told him I ordered this, he was like, oh yeah, I remember you used to wear that. I would keep the bottles of this in my gym bag. I'd keep it at my house. I kept it at my grandmother's house where I used to stay a lot. Um, even my best friend used these type of products too. So we just both probably smelled a lot like toilet woods all the time. But I was really excited to get this. It said it was back for like a limited time, I think, because it was a discontinued scent a few years back, I think. So I'm really excited, like I said, to have this, and I will probably be using it a good bit just because it's such a nice scent. I really love it. It is, I'm not really sure what the notes are. It's kind of a musky scent, but it's very light, and it's nothing too, like, manly smelling. Um, but if you don't like super sickly sweet scents, you may like this. Again, smell it in stores if you can, just because everyone's scents are completely different. What they prefer and what they like to wear on their bodies, what they like to have in their home, it's just totally different depending on the person. So... Yeah, this is everything that I got in my haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the fun products that I just picked up from Bath & Body Works and hopefully it gave you some ideas of things you may want to try in the future. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of hauls. Don't forget to comment down below to tell me what your favorite product that I got was or if you want to see more of these type of hauls in the future. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks.